Hello everyone, so today we'll be talking about postural reflexes in pediatrics. So here are my resources. The first one is the pediatric textbook that I'm using. After that, you have another textbook. Uh, it's a human development and performance throughout, throughout the lifespan by Anne Cronin and Mary Beth Mendish. Um, it's a... Uh, when I was looking for the reflexes on Google, um, this book had a section on it and it was reviewed in Google Books. So I put it here. Um, the third one is actually a website by the University of Utah. It's a very good website. I would highly suggest if you have the time to go and um, have a look at it. It has a uh, there's a pediatrician there teaching us about, there's a lot of demonstration videos there. Um, the pediatrician teaches us about um, the developmental milestones and also the reflexes that you will expect in uh, children. And then lastly, you have some YouTube videos um, to demonstrate each of the reflexes. So this is actually a continuation of a previous video that I made about primitive reflexes. Uh, you can go and have a look at it if you have not yet. And so in children, you have primitive reflexes and postural reflexes. So you are born with primitive reflexes and later on, postural reflexes takes over. And these postural reflexes are important for the baby to sit and walk independently uh, later on in life. Um, other than that, you also have permanent reflexes, but today we'll be talking about postural reflexes. Postural reflexes uh, is not an exhaustive list, but uh, here includes labyrinthine writing, postural support, lateral propping, and also the parachute reflex. So we'll look at this one by one. First, we'll look at labyrinthine writing. So what is it? It's a video to demonstrate. You should see him bring his head up, which he's doing. He's extending his neck. If I bring him laterally, he should keep it upright, Ooh, <laughs> laterally this way, again, good, this way, and then back. So you can see uh, when she tilts the child around, um, the child tries to maintain the head in a vertical position. So that's labyrinthine writing. However, there's another reflex, um, also similar to labyrinthine writing, uh, called optical writing or optic writing. So uh, what's the difference? Labyrinthine refers to the labyrinth in your ear, which is a structure in your inner ear, which includes the cochlea and the semicircular canals. The cochlea is uh, responsible for hearing, where it transforms sound waves into nerve impulses so that you can hear, whereas the semicircular canals um, is responsible for your balance. They have fluids inside and you have um, hair cells, which um, tells you uh, what position your head is in. And then optic writing is probably using your eyes to um, do the writing instead. So writing is maintaining your head in the vertical position. So if you're tilted to the left, your head tilts to the right to maintain vertical position. So labyrinthine writing is using the labyrinths and optic writing is using your eyes. So I would assume that uh, one of the one of the ways you would want to differentiate between optic writing and labyrinthine writing is by um, blindfolding the child. So you can isolate that the child is using the labyrinths and not the eyes. Right, so labyrinthine writing, um, the head moves in the opposite direction to which the body is tilted, as we mentioned just now. And this is a screenshot from the Google Books textbook that I mentioned before. So the onset, uh, they say here, is birth to two months. However, uh, in most sources I saw, um, they say uh, usually you don't see it earlier in uh, new units. So um, I would lean more towards the two months here. Uh, however, early on, you might see uh, labyrinthine writing in the head extension position. So if you... Uh, 
if you lean the the neonate forward, probably not neonate, probably uh late, late uh, early infancy. Um, you lean the you lean the body forward, and then the head should tilt backward. I mean that will start first, and then followed by all the other directions. And then uh, it persists throughout life, and then the procedures we've uh, seen the video just now, which is uh, speaks more than a thousand words. Okay, so here's the structure of the labyrinth. So you have the bony labyrinth, membranous labyrinth. So this whole thing is a labyrinth. This is the cochlea that I mentioned just now, and then these are the semicircular canals. You have three of them. So you're using this structure to maintain your head in a vertical position. That's labyrinth in writing. Okay, so the next reflex we'll be looking at is the postural support. So why is it? He's able to stand up. He's got good tennis. Go ahead and sit up. He has support on his legs. Nice to bounce. And a good smile. And very good. Okay, so uh, what's the postural support? When held upright, the legs take the weight and may push up and bounce. So that's postural support. So you support your weight using your legs. And here's a screenshot from the very good website that I mentioned just now. Um, they have a lot of videos like what we saw uh, just now. So... Um, it's considered a postural reflex. Uh, I think this is written by the uh, doctor, um, the pediatrician uh, teaching in the University of Utah. So he uh, talks about his opinion on it. And uh, we learn it as postural reflex through uh, the textbook that I'm using. So yes, it's a postural reflex as it's necessary for erect posture and blends into volitional standing. So he says that it's... Um, the first, first posture reflex uh, starts by uh, 3 to 4 months of age. And then by 5 to 6 months of age, uh, the body's, the baby fully supports its weight while standing. And by 7 months, they enjoy bouncing as what we saw just now. Right. So the next reflex we'll be looking at is the lateral propping. So why is it? Secret cover and he has lateral propping. And he reaches and he protects himself. So he props. He's able to maintain his balance, but can't quite recover because he's just not quite old enough for that skill. And we can push him this way. And okay, so when sitting, the child extends the arm to the side that he's falling towards as a saving mechanism, as you saw just now. So again, this is from the website. Uh, so this postural reflex de develops at five to seven months, five to seven months of age. Yeah, I think that's the main point, the, the reason I took this screenshot. So it starts at about five to seven months. And the last reflex is the parachute reflex. This is a very, this is a new unit, three and a half weeks. So you don't have the parachute reflex yet. This is 10 and a quarter months old. And you see that he, he extends the hands to protect himself. Or herself. Okay. So when suspended face down, the arms extend as though to save himself. That's the parachute or the forward parachute reaction. Um, so it usually appears at about eight to nine months of age. Yeah. So as you saw just now, the younger ch younger child didn't have this reflex, whereas at ten months, uh, he had the reflex. So uh, it probably started usually starts developing about eight to nine months. And prior to the full postural reflex, you actually have a partial um, reflex that's not complete yet, uh, where the baby will actually uh, will extend the arms, but be the baby will bring the arms back to the plane of body.
Let's see the parachute yeah, again. Him up, catch his arms extended, reaching out to catch himself. That occurs about eight months of age. He's got one developed partial oh, yeah. reflex. Going down, spreading hands, oh, yeah. catching himself. Yeah, I think that's all. Um, so as a quick recap, uh, we have uh, four um, postural reflexes. So the first one that we saw was labyrinthine writing. Is the earliest one that uh, we saw. It starts at about two months. This one, labyrinthine writing, is where you um, position the head vertically, uh, no matter what direction the body is tilted to. So it starts in about two months. Then after that, you have the postural support, where it starts at about three to four months, where you uh, when you hold the body, uh, when you hold the baby vertically, and the feet touch the ground, you try to support the weight using the legs. And later on, at about seven months, you start to bounce. And then after that, you have lateral propping, where uh, when sitting, uh, he try to save himself from falling to the side and appears in about five to seven months of age. And then after that, you have a uh, parachute, where it's, uh, it's also another saving reflex, where the arms will extend when you put him um, suspend the face down, suspend the baby face down. So you have one for the head, writing, and then um, one for the legs to support the weight and then two saving mechanisms, one when sitting and one when falling from the sky. <laughs> okay, that's all I have for you. Thank you. Hope it's helpful.